Hey guys, it's Zach with Zach's Muscle Motors, and thanks for joining me today for another episode of Tech Talk. Today we're going to be talking timing components, so let's go over here to the motor and see what we're working on. Okay guys, like I said, today we're going to be talking about timing components, and by timing components I mean chains, gears, and belts. I'm going to give you a kind of quick idea of the, uh, the difference between them, uh, what they are, uh, kind of what the pros and cons are. Um, so real quick, let's take a look at what we got here. Okay guys, what we have here are two different kinds of timing sets. There are three different kinds. You have a chain drive, a gear drive, and then you also have a belt drive, which is similar to the chain drive, other than having a chain that has a rubber belt. I don't care for those. There are two things in this world I do not trust that are made of rubber, and that is condoms and uh, belt drive timing sets. So, um, <laughs> uh, I don't really trust anything when it comes to that kind of stuff that's made out of rubber. Um, basically, what you have here is this is a double roller chain, and what that means, you have basically two chains here, um, side by side, and each one of these um, little... Uh, I guess grooves here you should call them um, where the teeth go in between uh, they actually roll now these are nice because um, unlike the the older chains that were solid chain drive uh, they wouldn't spin uh, a lot of more single um, chains that didn't have two chains on there um, with having just the one and not spinning they didn't last as long they tended to stretch and wear out more um, they created a lot more um, wear in between the teeth here um, this one's been uh, run pretty hard back before when the motor was built before, before when I done it. Um, but if you look at it, uh, it's really not in bad shape. It's got a little bit of marking, but that's that's not abnormal at all. Um, and that's the back side. And this is the front side. So you can see it's kind of blurry, but if you look at it, I mean, this is just from where I kind of wiped it off to get some of the oil off. But it's really not in bad shape at all. It's actually in rather decent shape. Um, for how hard it's been run and the miles that are on it. Um, so you have this kind, these are good. Um, they provide a little bit of flex. Uh, they don't transfer quite the engine harmonics that a gear drive will. Uh, they allow for a little bit of vibration um, and, and whatnot. Um, with the double drive, any roller, single or double roller um, timing sets, they tend to last longer. Um, they don't stretch as much. Uh, they are made out of better material today than what they were. But a lot of it has to do with these uh, basic roller bearings inside on the uh, the chain here that match with the surface. They don't wear out the the, the teeth as much on these and, and cause the variance in timing. So these are these are pretty good, um, and usually they're pretty cheap. You can get these for next to nothing. Um, yeah, even a, a, a decent one um, for a stock or mild application, you can pick them up for like 30, 40 bucks. Um, then you're moving up to the heavier duty stuff. Now this is, uh, I heard somebody say, oh, you, you can't use these for anything over 6,000 RPM. Well, I've seen where, where Comp has them listed where they'll run over 9,000 RPM. So uh, there's there's different companies. you got PRW. This is somewhat of a, uh, from what I understand, I've it's a uh, kind of bargain, but it's not bad. It's not bad quality stuff. I find it to be pretty comparable. Um, different companies make it. you got Edelbrock that makes them, Comp cams, Crane cams. Uh, Pete Jackson, those are good ones. Um, so there's different companies that make them, um, but more or less, uh, what these do is you have your pretty much the same setup as this. You have your cam and crank gear, which are these two here. Now, this is the back side. This rubber or er, rubber brass bushing uh, goes to the back side right here on the block. Um, that's the bearing you put towards the back to keep from wearing this surface out, and same with the block. Um, basically you have your idler gears, which one has a, a nipple that sticks out a little bit farther. That goes to the back. Your bigger gear goes to the left. Uh, what I like about these is they're pretty quick to adjust. Uh, most of these kits come with, um, for the, uh, the Chrysler, or excuse me, the Chevy and the Mopar, they come with these adjustable, um, cam locks. 
you can adjust your timing degrees. This one's got zero, which is a standard, no advance or retard. And then you've got uh, three, six, 10, and 13 there to choose from. And basically you stick this, uh, I'm not gonna do any advancement on my timing right now. You basically stick it on your little uh, peg there on your cam and that allows you to advance it or retard it. Um, and then you slide your crank, or excuse me, your cam gear on. Um, you can install this a couple ways. You can get a press to put it on there, or you can use like a 36 millimeter socket and you can pound it on there, which is what I'm gonna do today. And then it's, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory from there. What's nice about these is they're accurate as all get out. Uh, it's straight gear drive. Um, so there's no real, uh, you know, uh, room for play here. It, it's straight gear to gear drive. Um, they last a lot longer. They're really durable. Um, you know, like I said, quick um, timing adjustments to them. Um, and you can also get them where they're quiet, where you can't hear them. But like this one here, it's ground. It's like a straight grind teeth. Um, and what that does is it actually produces a whining noise. So it almost sounds like you've got a blower on your vehicle. So if you've got a, you know, any type of exhaust in the car, you'll hear it. <laughs> You know, you'll hear it spool up like a uh, like a blower, which is pretty cool. It's just an added sound effect most guys like. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this on the block, and then I'll kind of show you what you're looking at. So, Guys, so we're back over here now. Uh, we have the cam and the crank uh, gears installed. Um, one thing to make a major note of is when you install your, your cam gear, okay, you're going to torque your bolts down on your small block Chevy. Always double check, but these are 20 foot-pounds. It's got a retaining ring back here that you bend the little flaps over to keep the bolts from backing off. And make sure you use the uh, thread sealant um, lubricator that comes with the product. Put those on the bolts. Um, so once you have that done, you turn, uh, you get your dock on the out on the facing side of the crank. Um, you put it pointing down towards 6 o'clock. And then on your crank side, you've got a little dot and you point it pointing towards 12 o'clock. Um, that makes sure your cylinder is at, your number one cylinder is at top dead center. Um, the next thing you got is a thrust for your cam gear. The uh, front side that faces out towards the uh, timing chain cover is flat. The back side is concave, and that's where you would take it apart if you had to replace some parts in it. You put that in the front, the flat side facing out. I'll wiggle it in there. Sometimes it can be a little tough with that ring, but it'll go in. And then you take your uh, timing gear set, or the uh, dialer gear set, and you basically just match it in here. You just wiggle that in. The thrust is in. Now, this is direct drive. It's gear to gear, so there's almost next to zero play in it at all. Um, that's what makes these things so accurate. They last forever, and uh, they're, they're a great performance adder um, for either stock or high performance or whatever you're doing. Um, this right here on your thrust, uh, put your timing chain cover on, put a piece of plate on here, just like if you was checking for valve clearance, uh, put a piece of plate on, you're looking between five and ten thousandths clearance uh, with your timing chain cover. But outside of that, that's it. That's all there is to it. It takes five minutes to do it. Um, if you're uh, getting in and putting a timing set in it anyway, I suggest go ahead and put one of these in, even if it's a stock motor. Um, they're great to have, they'll last you a lot longer than a chain. Um, real quick, I'll kind of touch upon it again. Um, these are great because they are so accurate, they last a lot longer, but the downside is they will transfer engine harmonics, so it's, it's important to have your, your rotating assembly and everything balanced, um, and a good uh, damper, even a fluid damper would be good for that. Um, back to the chain and the belt drive, um, they're good because they don't transfer the engine harmonics, um, they're a little bit easier on that, um, but the downside is the chains do wear out a lot easier than what a gear will. And I don't trust a rubber belt. I built a four-cylinder racing engine for a guy. He had a, um, a belt on it, and unfortunately, it went out and the belt broke. So um, I don't I don't trust rubber belts. Um, if you're going to do a rubber belt, get a good quality. I mean, a, a good, good quality one, especially if you're turning any kind of horsepower or high RPM. Get a good quality belt if you're dead set on doing it. Um, so in other words, buy the Trojan, not the Durex brand of timing belts. Um, but for the money, you're going to spend a lot of money on a good quality belt when you can spend uh, a decent, you know, small amount of money and, and get you a good timing gear set. So um, definitely stay with those. But outside of that, that's it, guys. It's installed. It's ready to put your timing chain cover and everything on and uh, get to finish the rest of the motor. So um, we're done. 
Hey guys, I just want to say thank you again for stopping in and watching this episode of Tech Talk with me today. I hope you found it informational and helpful. Uh, I'm trying to keep the link down on the videos just a little bit, um, but the, uh, the information's there. So um, this is stuff that all you guys can do at home. Uh, my whole purpose of doing this is to help you do those things without having to take it to a shop and, and pay out, you know, absorb it amounts of money to get that stuff done. Um, there's some people that can't, and that's why they come to us. But for those of you that like to tinker around, do stuff yourself, these videos are for you to help you. I don't mind doing that. Um, so thank you. Like, share, and subscribe the videos. Also go to Zach's Muscle Motors on Facebook. That's Z-A-K apostrophe S, Muscle Motors on Facebook. Like the page, subscribe to it, and share it. Uh, I want to have uh, Instagram and Twitter coming up here before long too. So the channel's taken off. I got some more jobs coming along too. That hopefully will be some more content coming out on that. So there's more stuff to come. I really appreciate you guys watching. You guys are absolutely great. If you have questions or comments or anything, you can also send them to me at zaxmusclemotors at yahoo.com. Um, I also wanted to give you the opportunity, if you would like, I have t-shirts and hoodies for sale. Um, the uh, t-shirts are $25 shipped. Um, that gets you any size t-shirt, uh, any color that I, I can get, which is, there's like 30 different colors of t-shirts I can get. Um, unlimited number of uh, color for the lettering and stuff like that. So uh, $25 ship that covers a shirt, the taxes and shipping. So $25 flat, you can send a money order um, or you can do PayPal, whatever. Uh, just message me uh, through my email if you're interested in that. Um, also the hoodies, those are $45 shipped. Um, same deal, colors and all that stuff. So um, here's a look at them. I know it's backwards. But uh, just kind of give you an idea. I think they're pretty cool. I've got some other designs and stuff I'm working on too. This is the first one I come out with. So this is the first run. Um, like I said, there's all kinds of different colors and stuff. So if you're interested, shoot me an email. We'll get you hooked up with a t-shirt. Um, and then also when we hit 2,000 subscribers, which don't sound like a big deal to some people, but to me it's a big deal. Uh, because that means there's 2,000 people out there that appreciate what I do. And really this channel is for you guys. It's not for me because I'm not getting anything from this. So it's for you guys. So when I hit 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away some free t-shirts and stuff like that too. So keep subscribing, keep liking, and sharing the videos. Go to Zach's Muscle Motors on Facebook. Like, subscribe, and share. You guys are absolutely awesome. Send me your questions, comments, and if you want a t-shirt, get a hold of me. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Take it easy. We'll see you on the next video.